Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about, like, a bunch of different stuff. Going to sort of mash it into one video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so let's get into this. So, we're going to be going over a few theories, but also we're going to be talking about when this season of The Flash is actually going to be out on DVD and Blu-ray, because they've announced that there's going to be some extra stuff on the DVD, and I'll talk about that. Also, some of you guys have been asking, you know, who's the main villain of The Flash Season 6? I'll give you some of my theories. I know you've heard some of them before, but I thought this would be a nice video to consolidate some theories to do in next season. And so, obviously right now, we're on a break, no news is basically coming out. So, don't expect, like, videos constantly, unless you have interesting theories that I can go over, because that's how we sort of continue the videos into the summer. It's a lot of theory making, and it's kind of hard to come up with brand new theories that don't retread over stuff over and over again. So, it would be highly appreciated if on Twitter, Instagram, at the DCTV show, or in the comment section, or on my community tab. If you don't know what the community tab is, I sometimes post on there asking for video ideas and stuff, so it's really helpful when you guys do that because I can see like a whole range of stuff. I know a lot of you guys want like Monel theory videos, but if you suggest a Monel theory video, come up with an idea as to how he can return because we've covered obviously the basics already because you know, he's been gone for the past year, so things like that, come up with new ideas and sort of give it your own spin and maybe I will do a video on that if it's sort of worth a video. But yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about some of these theories and two of these theories are coming from Reddit and I thought they were interesting and I thought I would bring them up in a video, so the first one is to do with the negative speed force and it links into crisis, so this is what the person says. Did Eobard tap into the antimatter universe to create the negative speed force? Is he the gate that the mo that the anti-monitor will use to access the multiverse? And then he goes on to say, the crisis article describes the, f the reverse flash leading shadow demons against the various Arrowverse heroes. He clearly knows about the crisis and is pushing it to happen as early as possible. I think Thorne is working with the anti-monitor and may have always been. So that's an interesting theory and I thought I would bring it up because I think it's possible it could happen. So he says, did Eobard tap into the antimatter universe to create the negative speed force? So the antimatter universe and the negative speed force are obviously very different things. But in terms of the negative speed force, we got a bit of it this season on the Flash, but the antimatter universe is actually a very different thing. So I can see why it might be a theory that they could connect together because they are both essentially evil versions of one side because the antimatter universe in the comics was actually created in a pre-crisis on infinite earth reality and so it was billions of years ago a scientist did an experiment and essentially a, a copy was made and that copy is the antimatter universe that is pure evil essentially its own existence corrupted all the millions of planets actually inside the normal multiverse, inside the normal universe, so it's essentially a flip-flop of what the monitor is protecting, and we've seen the monitor obviously on the TV show, so I think it's an interesting idea, however the negative speed force is just siphoning off the speed force, as it was actually explained on the show, and it's the same thing in the comics, it's kind of different, but I can see why you may make the link, and I can see why some people would theorise about that, and so, the Crisis article describes Reverse Flash leading Shadow Demons against the various Arrowverse heroes. And yeah, so the Shadow Demons are actually a thing in the comics, and it does happen, so I can see why you may believe that it sort of links to what's going to happen. And so the Shadow Demons in the comics were the silent assassins of the Anti-Monitor, that's how they are talked about when in the comic books. So, yeah, they are in the newspaper, you know, obviously saying working with Reverse Flash, but that might mean that Reverse Flash is working, working with the Anti-Monitor. We know they are changing it for the TV show, and Reverse Flash is going to be a massive thing because that's what they've been teasing for all these seasons. And in the comics, Reverse Flash isn't a big thing in Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's all about the Anti-Monitor and a lot about Psycho Pirate. So we saw Psycho Pirate for a brief glimpse. He teased 
crisis at the end of the crossover last year but he's going to be a big thing obviously and you know there are lots of other villains and in fact Lex Luthor is not a villain in it and I think that's what the ending of Supergirl sort of teases towards that he's going to be more of an anti-hero trying to protect the earth okay so let's move on to the next theory so this is from reddit again so if the crisis leads to the death of Barry Barry's mother sorry does it mean that original timeline still exists in that case this means that the timeline from which Nora came from still exists so basically how the timeline works is you have this branch right the first one which was the original timeline and then reverse flash goes back in time with Barry kills Barry's mom boom new timeline and now that's cemented and that is the timeline we're living in so yeah theoretically all these different timelines create branches off of each other and obviously they're living in these different iterations essentially and so we're just not seeing those other timelines so theoretically yeah the original timeline still exists and theoretically obviously that means Nora is still alive and the version of the flash you see running back to fight reverse flashes most likely from the original timeline so there is a chance he exists and maybe due to what has all been leading up to crisis and we know supposedly that the fight between reverse flash and the flash all eventually leads back to that very night with Nora Allen and the flash that's what's been teased this whole time and so I think we may see a version of the original version of the flash because there is a chance that he comes and helps because we know you know all these different characters these different iterations come in the comic books and yeah they're not from different timelines they're from different earths in the multiverse I th still think with the flash being so involved in timelines I don't see why not and I don't see why this version of Nora cannot come back because the timelines create different branches and obviously speedsters can create new branches and theoretically they could get back to another branch so yeah I think that's an interesting idea Alright, so let's move on. So the DVD for The Flash Season 5 is going to be coming out on Blu-ray and DVD, obviously. And that's going to be coming out on the 27th of August, so look out for that. I'll be doing some giveaways. Also, you know, Comic-Con is before then at the start of July-ish. I'm going to be there, and we're doing some giveaways. I will announce that very, very soon. And so what's going to be on this disc? So there is obviously all the episodes, and there's the bonus stuff, which is deleted scenes don't know how many there are but there's a bunch of deleted scenes there was last year as well and also there's going to be a blooper reel the blooper reel is always great I always do a video on that because it's you know the deleted funny moments from the show like with all the cast and everything like them all swearing and you know oh it's, it's great I love it but that's going to be coming out August 27th so be on the lookout for that I'll be doing some giveaways as I do every year for the DVD Alright, so let's move on to talk about the main villain, and this is the last bit of the video. So, as you know, like Supergirl this season, they teased two villains, and this season on The Flash, we didn't tease a new villain. All we teased was Crisis on Infinite Earths, and obviously a few of the other storylines that are going to be happening with like Killer Frost, Joe, you know, becoming into his new job, and then now we are sort of left hanging. Who's going to be the main villain for The Flash Season 6? Well, my theory is, I think the first half of the season we're going to just have, you know, maybe a villain like Dr. Alchemy, who's just going to be there for a bit, and then it will be someone else taking over like a Savitar. But, I think, maybe, because they've made a big mistake the last few seasons with The Thinker and Cicada, introducing them on episode 1 way too early, because you don't have time to build up to them. They're already there. They drag on. And so that's why, say, Savitar, that didn't drag on. Say, Zoom or Reverse Slash did not drag on. So I think that maybe for the first part of the season, what they will do is they will just have villains coming off and on, or it may be a Dr. Alchemy type situation. And I think it's all going to lead up to Red Death coming. And so Red Death is the new speedster who was recently introduced in the comics. He was given a shout out last season. And, you know, back in season three, when Savitar mentioned DeVoe, I didn't even make a video on it I was like no that's just a shout out like why are they gonna do that there's no reason to actually believe that that that's a confirmation essentially but they did go on to do it so I'm sort of 
going back to that idea, with them mentioning Red Death, they have obviously intentions to bring Red Death on at some point, whether it's this season or not. It makes sense, so I think they're going to bring Red Death, and I think they know, they've heard the fans say, we need more mystery, we need a mass speedster villain, not a normal villain like DeVoe or Cicada, because even though I love Season 5, I think one of the big down points of the season was Cicada, so yeah, same thing with the Thinker, the Thinker was just bad, and yeah, so I think it will be Red Death, that's my theories right now, so let me know all your theories to do with some of these theories in the comments down below, also please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos over the summer, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV Show to stay up to date with me and send in those theories if you want videos daily, obviously because there's not much news over the summer, so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.